Howdy doody, and welcome back to the channel. And I'm finally here. And here, you might ask, is Wales. We've made it to North Wales. Kirsty of Stainy Pants is currently over at that side. And we're at Clididwell. So there's me and Big Daz just walking around this side now. We've got Stainy and Big Martin just walking around the other side. So yeah, we're having a bit of a, a Wales weekend this weekend. So Stain is going to few, show us a few of his favourite spots and that. But it is absolutely blowing a gale. So whether you can hear me or not of this mic, we have just got underneath, I think it's the glitters now. So it might be a bit, a bit sheltered down this bottom end. But yeah, the spray kicking off the clean and everything. So I had to take one or two shots walking up, just quickly handheld. So when the light came out, so I'll bob them up for you now. But we're going to have a look around this bottom end of the lake. And when we get there, I'll bob it back on once we've got set up with the composition. So I'll see you in a bit. quickly just taking a quick handheld shot here it was about one fiftieth of a second obviously the water is flowing fairly fast so I'm going to try put out yet just hand holding I want to keep this texture in here so it's nice and bright as it comes over there it did get this bridge in as well and the light was just slightly hitting that mountain at the back so yeah quite a nice composition really but we have got a name we are going up here somewhere going to cross the bridge and look back down we have seen a tree in the middle that I think Stain is shot before. So we're going to try and get up and above and then look down here. But while me and Daz have been talking, we are going to try and find a, one of the waterfalls that leads you straight onto it as well, if we can. So we are going to go up here behind the tree and probably come down the fall there. You'll probably just see it over that side. The wind has just kicked in again. See what that looks like coming down. But yeah, for the time being, I'll bob that one on for you. Just let me know what you think of that one. Like I say, quick and dull shot, so yeah, a quick one. Right peeps, I haven't come that far from where I showed you that last picture. Just up there. I've come below this little footbridge now. I'm on a portrait orientation. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll put you through the viewfinder if it'll kick in. There you go. Let me just There you go, that's roughly the composition in a minute. So we have got this fall down the right hand side coming towards us. We have got the ones leading away as well. But obviously in the distance you've got the Lynn or the lake with that mountain in the backdrop. There has been a bit of light just hitting it every now and again so I've taken a few shots but I will probably do a, a pano as well around here. So I'll put this vertical one on and then I'll, I'll put the pano on. And then we're going to try and get going before this next group of people come back to us. We we'll try and get up there, but <laughs> we keep getting distracted. But obviously, how can you not get distracted with all this look down here? peeps we have just made that rocky outcrop that we saw earlier on basically it's just all these here leading you down these are big old tree at the bottom so i'm going to go down and shoot that but for the time being i've done a vertical orientation getting this one in as well and i've done another one just cutting it out just seeing what effect that has it has come da really dark and moody at the minute i will take a horizontal one as well but i'll probably take that from over at this side looking onto the rocks 
and lead you down towards the trees. So yeah, I'll bob these two up for you now anyway. I'm going to get set with a time lapse, so I'll bob a time lapse on for you as well. And then while that is getting ready to shoot, I'm going to make my way down. I'm going to try and shoot that tree. But what I'll pull try and do, I'll try and get it, get it so it goes into the lake as well. So yeah, I'll put these on for the time being. I'll come back to you once I've got down there. I've made it down to the bottom, but I'm quite finding it quite hard just to get that tree right. I'm shot sure behind a rocket minute because Stars wants to shoot it from above, so I'm just getting out of his his line. That's all. But what I have done, I did go onto the edge and shoot the tree from the right. Had the tree on the right hand side with that mountain right in the centre, and Clint will just sort of led you all the way up. I did shoot it oh, 28 mil. Well, this last one just a 28 mil. One before, we'll bang on 16 mil. So, hopefully, it's something, something like. But I wanted to try and get that tree sort of protruding out into the limb. But it cuts out the little bit that just goes around this side here as well. Just cuts into there, which is a nice image, but it's not what I wanted. I wanted the tree to just stand out into the limb itself. But I'll put the ones I've got on anyway. I've just set a time lapse going. So I'll, um, I'll bobby that on as well. I will try and get one or two other compositions around here as well, just while we're here. So, and Daz is shooting above as well, like I've just mentioned. So he's got one or two nice ones as well in the bag. I think I've got a shot. I'm using these lines on this rock here, just on the bottom thirds, leading you on to that next rock out there with the tree. Then the lin that leads you straight onto that mountain in the background. There's just a bit of light just hitting it now, so I'm gonna take a few more shots anyway. I will do a vertical and a horizontal. I'll switch back to the 24 105 lens as well. Because on a wide angle, I want to, I want to try and keep that scale on that mountain but on a wide angle it just narrows it too much I think I have got that tree where I want it as well so yeah I'll bob these shots on for you now looks like we have got one or two breaks in the sky so it's casting a bit of light here and there so fingers crossed it, it works like I say I've got the time lapse going as well so what I'll do I'll bob the time lapse on now for you and then I'll bob these images on for you as well see we're still waiting for a bit of light to hit nothing's hitting as much I think the sun setting around the other side but nothing's getting through at the minute but I've come out of this side just where Daz is but I'm using where Daz is perched on there there's a, a rock that sort of split with a nice black line going right through it so I'm using that as a bit of a leading line on a vertical orientation getting both trees in this time not just that one and then it leads you off onto the lane and onto the mountain in the background there's a bit of mood in the sky nothing much as such so yeah we just need a bit of light. If you can see Stainer just down there, just over the little bridge, just give him a wave. <laughs> I think him and Martin are just around the corner there. So yeah. So I'll bob this one on for you. I think we're just about done from this little location and we are going to try and make his way down and round a little bit now. Try and catch up to the, up to the guys down there. Look at this for a waterfall. Up and up and up it goes. <laughs> that is one big one, is that? It makes its way down as well. We are going to try and follow this down, I think. 
on the right hand side and then hopefully catch up with staying in that at the bottom end but yeah trekking quite an interesting day is this even though the light is quite flat at the minute it read one or two pockets out earlier but yeah it's turned really really flat in that at the moment so yeah let's go a little nosy around here see what we can get so yeah i'll come back to you once we've got a competition sorted right peeps that's his next composition i literally am in the falls that's the falls leading all the way up i am just saw this little ledge here so the composition is i am bang on 16 mil i've got this rock here just in the foreground and it's hitting this and coming round as well and the water just leads you straight down we have got a bit of mood as well in the background now so yeah i'm on a vertical orientation for this one just basically shooting straight down this waterfall I've been messing around with the ISO and stuff like that, so only because I want to try and get that six of a second shutter speed. Probably a quarter of a second is my go-to, so I'm on quarter, six of a second. I'm taking one or two various ones just so when I get back in post I can actually see which one it is, because this water is quite fast flowing as this. So yeah, I want to try and keep the texture. I don't want it all white out because there's a hell of a lot of white water here. So yeah, with this mood in the background as well now. Yeah, it's making it quite interesting. So yeah, I'll bob this one on now for you. Oh, we've got some... Oh, you're seeing that, we just got smashed in the face by coming off this waterfall. I was about to take a shot and all. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you why we've got smashed in the face in a minute. Excuse me, because we're right on top of it. <laughs> we have got a bit of light side light coming now. There's a bit of mist and that on the top, but we are in the stream, as you can see. That's just inside of me there. I'm on this rock here, just looking down. Try and get this fall from the left hand side coming down. I've got this, oh, I'm getting smashed again. We, are getting, we have got that big rock just in the foreground there as well and the light is just coming on from the side so yeah it's getting, making it quite interesting this we have got a little waterfall at the side of as well i don't know what my backside is like because all this is coming down behind us standing that i've made it up onto the top just behind us so i don't know whether they're going to come down this way or not but we'll catch up with them in a bit but yeah we just try to work this now just because this little texture coming off the rock just got me fancied in that big time so like i say i'm bang on 16 mil I will have to bracket this as well. See in the distance there, there's some water getting lifted up with the wind. So yeah, getting battered today by this wind. But yeah, so if this one's worked out, you'll see it next. Right then peeps, we have just made it back down to the van to that now. Obviously the wind came in, it was started absolutely battering us, so yeah, we've made us way down. Got Steve and Martin just here in the van, so yeah. And that's the view looking back from the car park up there. Absolutely cracking is that. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, please give us your old thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I'll end with a few more images now and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.